Hello and welcome to the channel. In this video I'm going to show you the locations of the DDK N input and code disks, how to fend off the first boss as it makes a surprise appearance in the chief's office, as well as the input code needed for the lounge wall safe, which will reward you a unique sidearm upgrade. This how to will utilise the chapter display on screen as well as the respective chapter and timestamps throughout this video. If you need to know anything in specific regarding your playthrough, you can utilise the pinned comments, chapters and timestamps to navigate through various chapters in this video. For those of you who are not familiar with YouTube, just click on the blue timestamp of the video and it will skip to that chapter. So, to recap, in the previous video we successfully entered the Chief's office when we was greeted with a cutscene where Regina found the mortally wounded scientist who has on his possession the second panel key which we needed to unlock the Chief's office wall safe which revealed the electronic keycard L. Once you pick up the keycard, you are now able to move Regina in any direction. Once you do, it will trigger the T-Rex mini-boss confrontation as it smashes through the window panel and knocks Regina back into the corner of the room and it scoops up the now deceased scientist in its jaws of death as it withdraws back out of the window before making return attempt to kill Regina. There are two ways in which you can successfully avoid becoming T-Rex Chow. Firstly, you can wait for an opening to make a dash for the chief's office door, making a quick escape. Secondly, for those of you like myself, who like to make a foolish last stand, take me on mano in mano, you can shoot the T-Rex and force it to retreat. For the latter, you will need to wait for an opening before firing upon the T-Rex. Wait until the T-Rex opens its jaws and approaches Regina before taking the shot. Do this numerous times and it will eventually give up, retreating back out of the window and away from the compound. Now that the area is safe to explore, there is a pickup in the far corner of the room and the DDK input disk N, which is spinning next to the chief office wall safe. Head over to the DDK, press the interaction button to pick it up, and now we need to find the DDK code disk N. Now that we have picked up everything from the chief's office, we can concentrate on heading out to explore the rest of the facility. To do so, head back to the chief's office door and press the interaction button. A quick loading screen will appear showing Regina pass through the door. Once this has finished, you will want to head to Regina's right. The camera will shift as you approach the hall, showing double doors in front of Regina and a single door at the far bottom of the hall, which we do not need to access yet. Head straight to the double doors and press the interaction button to enter. You have now entered the lounge. Be cautious as there is a Velociraptor in the room with you. I recommend exterminating the threat before proceeding. Remember, if you have previously left the Velociraptor in the hall you've just come from, it will breach the lounge doors, increasing the threat level of the room, pitting you against two raptors rather than just one. As stated in the previous video, I would highly recommend dealing with the raptor in the hall before proceeding to the lounge. So, once you have dealt with the threat, head around the corner near the bar to reveal the wall safe. Head up to the wall safe and press the interaction button to enter the code. The code needed to unlock the safe is 8159. Once you have unlocked the safe, you will be presented with a sidearm upgrade. To equip this, make sure that you have your handgun equipped. Go into your menu, head over to the equip and on the equip weapon menu, press the interaction button to enable the drop down. Hover over the upgrade, press the interaction button and press equip for your upgrade to be added to your sidearm. Now, just head back out of the lounge to proceed with finding the other DDK N disk. To find the DDK code disk N, you will need to have unlocked the safe back in the management office. If you haven't done this already, there will be the previous how to video linked in the pinned comment of this video showing you where the location is and how to turn on the power so that the safe is able to be unlocked. That being said, presuming that we have already completed this step, we will need to head back to the main entrance, which is on the ground floor. To get there, just head back the way we came, through the single door at the bottom of the corridor, and back down the stairs. Head to the huge double doors at the front, and the camera will shift slightly overhead, giving you a better view of them. Head up to the doors, and as close as possible, and press the interaction button to head through them to the next area. The T-Rex isn't in this area, so you can explore at ease. Though that being said, I still don't feel at ease when running through this area, just in case it decides to show up. Which it doesn't, but still, it doesn't put me at ease exploring this part of the compound. To find the DDK and code disc, you will need to head around the green lawn and head straight to the guard house at the bottom. As you get closer, you will see a heavily mauled and mutilated corpse. 
belonging to that of Mark Doyle. Keep in mind, you may need to venture back here later in the game. The DDK Encode disc will be spinning in its spot close to the corpse and the bloodstained file. Just head over and pick it up. To find out a little bit more about Mark Doyle, head over to the bloodstained file and interact with that to read about the personal changes of researchers. Head back the way we came and through the huge double doors which lead into the main entrance. So as you enter the main entrance, walk forward past the stairs and underneath them you will discover two double doors and a DDK panel next to them. You will trigger a communication from Rick in the form of a cutscene telling you to check something out. Once the cutscene has finished, head over to the DDK panel, press the interaction button and it will ask if you want to insert the discs, press yes. You will be greeted with a screen. As in the previous video, we have a key and a code section of the puzzle. The key are the letters we will need to eliminate from the code to reveal the unlocked password for this section of the facility. The key letters are as follows, A, B, D, F, G, H. This means then that we will need to eliminate those letters from the code disk like so. This now reveals the true access code to unlock the area in which we need to proceed. The letters which remain are N, E, W, C, O, M, E, R, revealing the word newcomer. Simply type this in and you have successfully unlocked the next explorer area, which is the elevator hall and its connected hallways. There is a map panel, which if you walk up to it and press the interaction button, will reveal all rooms on the 1F and the 2F floors. I would just like to say thank you for watching. If you found these guides and house tools helpful, please leave a comment or a like. If you would like to watch some retro gameplay live, my variety of Tuesday streams are over on twitch.tv forward slash pnx underscore vector. Thank you to everybody that watches and supports my content both on YouTube and on Twitch. I am new to YouTube video creation and any and all feedback is hugely appreciated. If there are any other retro games or any games in general that you would like to see me do a guide on or how to, please leave a comment below or tag me on Twitter stating which game you would like to see have its own guide and how to playlist on this channel. As always, it has been fun creating this video and I hope that you guys have enjoyed it. With that being said, this is the end of the video and I shall see you guys next time. Thank you.